Hey everyone, my name is Michael. I'm the customer success lead at Xano, and this video is going to uh, cover the photo sharing social media template. Uh, just what it is, give a little overview to help you get familiar with it so you can start uh, using it and be successful with it. So right here, I'm just on the uh, page for it in the marketplace. So if, on the navigation bar, if you click marketplace and then featured and just scroll down, you'll see photo sharing social media platform, just click on that to get to this page. Um, you'll see there's just some information on here, uh, basic components of what is included. Um, you can see there are 27 API endpoints, which are all those different commands in logic that you might want to uh, use on your front end uh, to be able to implement this. You can see there's five database tables. We populate that with uh, 19 records of dummy data and nine add-ons, which are a, a very unique feature in Xano that help you uh, extend a uh, API call from different database tables. Additionally, additionally there is uh, this additional information links here uh, that should help you uh, with building uh, something like a photo sharing uh, social media platform, so something similar to uh, an Instagram, if that is your goal. So. Let's go ahead. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the database real quick. On the left side here, you can see here are all the tables uh, that are included um, for this application. You can see there's a user table, uh, which is pretty straightforward. This is where the users of your application are going to live. Um, we also have a photo table. Uh, you can see it is uh, references a user because a user actually posts it. There's an image, caption, some tags. Um, then we have likes follows and comments, which are pretty similar. Um, likes will have a relationship to the user uh, who likes it and the photo um, that is posted. Uh, follows, obviously, um, as well as another component. There's a reference to the user uh, for who the follower is and another reference to a different user for who is followed. Um, and then comments, very similar to likes, except there's actually a field for comment. If you want to be able to uh, see the relationships a little more visually uh, for all these tables, you can toggle this button here in the top right. And you can see a little mapping of how these tables are all related. Okay, So let's go ahead now, um, quickly jump into the API. You can see here is this API group called Photo Sharing. And when we click into here, here are all these API endpoints um, for all the different logic and components. Um, that you may want to use in your front end. Um, down here you can see there's something like a wall which will be a general feed uh, maybe that you want to scroll through um, and actually search. Um, so I won't go through all of this um, but just know that you can um, click into any of these, uh, manipulate them however you want. Everything in the templates are fully uh, customizable. If you want to uh, make any changes to anything, if you want to delete anything, add new things, um, that is all available for you, uh, just like normally in Xano. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and actually explore the live demo back on the Marketplace page. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my API base URL right here and one click copy that to my clipboard. You can see right down here, um, my video might be blocking that. But now that I've copied that, if we come back into our Marketplace, and we scroll down features and we find uh, the photo sharing template, we can hit explore live demo. And this will open a new tab and it'll tell us what's contained in the live demo. The live demo is just a mock front end we've created um, with uh, all those different API endpoints. So you can actually see how your front end might interact with your back end using that API as a messenger um, and pulling that dummy data through uh, so we can actually see a, a full holistic view of a photo sharing application, not just from back end to front end. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click test with your Xano account. When I do that, we're now prompted for that uh, Xano base API URL. So that's why I copied that. Uh, you can easily just navigate back to Xano, go and copy that and then paste that in here and just hit update settings. And you can see it says welcome to the Xano photo sharing template demo. Um, first thing would be to log in or sign up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign up like I'm a new user. And I just went ahead and uh, populated all that real quickly. Uh, fast forward, I'll hit sign up. And now I'll be taken in. I can go ahead. We won't see anything at first, but maybe I'll want to hit discover. 
And now we'll see some of that dummy data uh, popping up. We can actually see uh, maybe some different photos in here. Maybe I can click on one. I can see there is a poster. I can go ahead and write a comment um, and go ahead and, and even post that. Um, and you can see it says now a few seconds ago. I can even click on this person's profile. Um, I could follow them, even unfollow them. Um, I can do search, there's the wall. Um, I could even add a photo if I wanted to real quick. So I found this photo on my computer of this puppy and I'll say, uh, isn't this cute? Something like that. And I'll just go ahead, uh, do a tag right there. I can say dog and I can go ahead and post that. Um, and now let's say I wanna go click on my profile. Uh, there's the photo that I just posted. So um, as you can see, just a very simple front end, but um, this is using all those different API endpoints um, in the actual uh, photo sharing template in the back end. And it's actually populating um, this data now too in our Xano database. So it's like live and working. It's just to show you a, a good example of um, how a back end and front end might interact together with this template. Of course, your front end ha doesn't have to look anything like this. Uh, this is just an example to go off of to help you see things more clearly. Uh, in that full picture. So thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful and uh, excited to see how you use uh, this photo sharing template.